have you shot your final scenes yet? And are you happy with how things ended? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say yes. You didn't say yes. Best season ever. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, man. Jesus Christ. Best season ever! D&D. &D. What have you done? <laughs> hey, what's up, my betters? It's your boy, Night Wolf, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Season 8, Episode 5 of Game of Thrones. Um... Yikes, mate. I have no format for these type of videos yet. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. But, where's it going to wing it? Screw it. Game of Thrones, season season 8, season 5. Boy, do I wish. Season 8, episode 5. Man, a couple days ago, I released a video named Issues That Cannot Be Ignored. And that video was about Game of Thrones. That was my first video ever. And unfortunately, my first video ever of Game of Thrones had to be a negative one. And that's something I don't want to do anymore. I don't want to start off a series with a negative. But, D&D, you left me no choice. I said the pacing, the writing, and the consequences was the main things holding me back from enjoying Game of Thrones the way that I used to, season one through five, and six. So season one through six, that's the Game of Thrones I won. Seven and eight? Eh. Eight? No, 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 not eight. Seven was cool. Eight, cinematically, production-wise, absolutely amazing. But writing, again, Writing, pacing, character arcs, build up, everything. None of that paid off again. Oh my, oh my God, it, it pisses me off so much because I love this show, guys. I love Game of Thrones, but now it's like, I can't even like introduce my friends into it anymore. I'm scared to introduce my friends into this, this show that I called one of my top five favorite shows, and it still is top five for me. But this last season, oh my god. Yes, story-wise, there's, there's a lot of big moments, a lot of important character deaths. Yes, for sure. But none of it felt right. Episode one and episode four were my favorite episodes of Game of Thrones season eight. Let's take a look at what happens in episode 1 and episode 4. Talking. Dialogue. Consequences. Yes, those mistakes still happen in those episodes, but it's less of it. Episode 3, the battle for Winterfell with the Night King. And episode 5, Daenerys versus Cersei. Those are supposed to be the biggest battles of Game of Thrones history. Yet, I don't feel filled. I don't feel fulfilled. I don't feel pleased. I feel robbed. Unfortunately, I feel robbed. I feel like it has so much potential, so much energy, so much hype. I've never seen hype for Game of Thrones like this before. I've never seen it before. I got people that's never heard of Game of Thrones before ever in their life talking about Game of Thrones. If that doesn't show you the power of social media, then I don't know what does. But they had so much potential. Dan and Dave, D and D, you had one job. The ball was in your hand. It was in your court. Okay. It was the buzzer beater. Yes, the pressure was on, but you had one job. We set you up. We hit you with the alley. For all my basketball fans, y'all know what I'm talking about. We set you up. You had one job. You just had to swish. That's it. 
but you bricked it. You missed your mark. And uh, one more episode left. Episode 6 is the series finale, not season, series finale of Game of Thrones. I'm scared. I am scared because, yes, as I have been calling Danny going Mad Queen since like season 2, season 3, I've been calling Danny going Mad Queen. But not like this. Daenerys goes full Mad Queen and burns people, innocent people alive with what seemed like no context. No solid proof as to her doing it. There was no motive. There was the... Okay, yes. Masande got beheaded. Yes. Rhaegar, he got cheated. Okay? And, and, and that's something that's really stupid. Daenerys didn't see the fleet. Are you kidding? She's in the air! Okay. Let me relax. Let me just relax. But once again, guys. This is one of my favorite shows of all time. And that's why I'm so upset. That's why I'm so heated. That's why I'm so passionate about it. Because they had so much potential. If this season would have wrapped up amazingly. Do you know... This show will go down in history. And it's still going to be going down in history, but not for the reason that all of us wanted. That all of us Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire fans wanted. It's going down as a show that had the most amazing buildup, the most amazing world characters, but then failed at the end. And no, I'm not trying to comfort D&D's head. Yes, I do understand that most of Game of Thrones is based off the books. Like, scene for scene even. I completely understand that. I do. And the fact that George hasn't finished the books probably has, doesn't help anything at all. I get that. But you have been working on this forever. The amount of support that you guys have gotten and for you guys to just jump to so many unsatisfying conclusions. And I think most of the issues is just coming from timing. If we had one more season, I'm pretty sure if we would have just focused on Cersei. Yes, Cersei. I want the Night King to be the big villain. The Night King is death. And I think that's why I feel so underwhelmed with Cersei. We, we legit just came from battling death. We fought death and we won. But then the final villain is Cersei. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? If this season, season 8, would have focused on Daenerys' conquest with Jon taking the Iron Throne, then okay, yes, thank you. That's more time. To flesh it out. That's more more character moments. More rewarding time spent with the characters. Right? And not so many jumps. Because season one. It took like four episodes. From Ned Stark to go from Winterfell. To King's Landing. But in season eight. These niggas going from Winterfell. To the wall. To King's Landing. To Dorne. Then back. Winterfell in one episode. Do you see how much time is being burnt? Because they wrote themselves into a corner. And I'm so pissed off. I'm so annoyed. Because, oh my god, guys. I don't want to sound like a broken record. But I love Game of Thrones, man. I love it so much. I love the characters. I love the story. But this last season is just not doing it for me, Chief. Like, yes, there's some amazing moments. Yes, there's some amazing set piece. The battle for Winterfell, it felt like a movie. But it didn't feel like Game of Thrones, and that's my issue. This doesn't feel like Game of Thrones. It feels like a normal action movie with with this, this generic bad guy that gets taken out with no story. The Night King was being built up since the... Then, bro, season one opens up. The first episode ever opens up with the Night King. The threat is set. 
and then he dies. And that's it. the season finale of Game of Thrones in one word, how would you describe it? Disappointing.